Hello, this is Eddie from Nerdypedia.com. This is a brief look at my printer bot coming to life. There are uh, several hours of tutorials available at printerbot.com. We also have a very active forum at printerbottalk.com. Please note that the name printerbot does not have an E. My printer bot, like most printer bots, came as a kit of parts that included screws, zip ties, etc linear and roller bearings, rods, both uh, smooth and threaded, stepper motors, a heated print bed, wiring, an assembled printer board, a kit of plastic parts and a laser cut wooden printing bed. The printer bot is a rep-wrap type of 3D printer, meaning it is self-replicating. The plastic parts are actually printed on printer bots and the end user can modify and improve them. Mine was a very early kit and things were not perfect. The printer bot design changed slightly over time so the tutorials didn't quite match up and some were slightly out of sequence. The new bed is narrower. Some parts like the Y pulley cracked, the Y limit switch missed the mark and the Z axis micro needed improvisation. I had to supply my own power supply and if the wrong plug will go in the hole that's usually where it goes. Assembling the base is fairly easy but it takes some time to align the the base ends that have to be aligned in uh, along both axes not not just the Z. Mounting the bearings on the Y belt guide is a bit difficult and also the uh, the Y bar ends are kind of difficult to get on and the bars seem a little short but the rest of the early assembly is fairly easy Getting the uh, the Y stepper motor on is easy, and so is the the two smaller Z motors at the sides. Adjusting the width of the base to match the wooden bed, and then getting everything parallel again is a little fiddly, but it isn't too bad. The rest of the assembly was actually fairly trouble-free. The one of my uh, upright rods was loose, and I added a bit of super glue. Some of the the screws seem a little bit short but uh, basically it went together fairly well. Instructions for hooking up the X-belt were missing, but uh, I kind of worked it out. Central to the printing process is the extruder. A pinch roller forces the filament into a hot end. It melts and passes out through a 0.5mm nozzle. The wires on the extruder motor were too short, so I improvised an extender. That pretty much completes the mechanical build. I won't cover the electronics, you can watch that at, at printerbot.com if you want. I'm sure you're keen to, uh, to see some printing. Like most other people, I had trouble getting the stuff to stick. I tried printing on plastic packaging tape, but that didn't work either. Then, after enough cursing and cleaning and solvent wipes and checking the phases of the moon, Eventually it started to look promising. Oh bugger! Beginner's test cubes often look like this, mainly because the plastic doesn't have time to cool between layers. More improvement, almost got that one to stick. Not too bad, even if I say so myself.
Then the penny dropped. The print bed's just too glossy. I attacked it with a kitchen scouring pad and the problems pretty much went away. You can see at the edge I didn't uh, scrub it quite enough and that's where the, the plastic is peeling. Catchy tune, but I don't think we'll see it in the top 40. This is my first design being printed. I didn't get much further than this because the uh, pulleys, belts and cocks and stuff started to, to rattle loose. Day the power supply blew up. It vaporized three millimeters of track inside, it took out the house circuit breaker and unfortunately it's blown one of the USB pins on the printer board micro. So I'm waiting for new parts to either repair or replace the printer board. Then uh, you will see some more printing. <laughs> 